I'm Gregory, and I'm here today with my friend Kasim Osgood, and uh, we both play football for the San Diego Chargers. And we're also, uh, yeah. also both proud to be members of Athens of Education. Right, and today we're here to read a really cool new book called Charge Ahead. It was created by Athens of Education and KTBS. But we're supposed to read it with our really good friend Elmo, only uh, doesn't seem to be here right now. Elmo, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Kasim. Oh, hi, Mr. Steve. I was just getting ready to play football for the San Diego Chargers. What? Yeah, tell us that bad memory to hit Elmo. Come on, Elmo's open. Elmo. Okay, Elmo can play defense. Elmo can be a safety. Elmo, I don't think we need any safeties right now. Oh, right. Because that's Mr. Steve's position. Sorry, Elmo wasn't trying to take this. Running back. Elmo, I don't think we need a running back either. But I would be a great running back. Elmo's got a back. <laughs> he's great at running, watch. Right. Elmo, what's that? Elmo, what's that? Elmo's got a scrimmage. Elmo, we're not here to play football today. Elmo's not? No. But I would tell Mr. Steve and Mr. Cassini wanted Elmo to become one of the Chargers. What can make you think that, Elmo? Well, because Elmo. Oh, Elmo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. It's not the Chargers playbook we wanted you to read. It's not? No. No, we're here to read today to read Charge Ahead. It's a new book featuring me and some of my teammates. Oh, but does this mean Elmo's not going to suit up against the Cowboys this Sunday? I'm afraid not, Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> I like books too, Elmo. I like books. So let's read. Okay, let's get to it. Well, but there's only one problem. What's that? Elmo doesn't know how to read yet. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, Elmo loves learning. Well, there's a lot of fun games you could use to learn. Yeah, that's the KPBS Raising Readers. Elmo really is learning how to read right now. Really? That's so cool, Elmo. Yeah, Elmo does a lot of cool stuff to learn to read. Like what? Well, Elmo and his daddy share stories. Put the books together and, and point out letters and words all over Sesame Street. That's cool, Elmo. You want to know another great way to learn how to read? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Ah. Like the rhyming game. Oh, yeah! Elmo loves to rhyme. Well, can Elmo play? Sure, Elmo. Okay. How about we say a word and then you say a word that sounds exactly the same? Oh, because that's a rhyme, right? That's right. Okay, Elmo can do that. Let's play. Okay, let's start. Jump. Bump. Rope. Rope. Healthy. Stuff. That's great. Eight. Okay, Elmo, we're done rhyming. Simon. <laughs> Elmo, let's get down and read the book. Oh, that's what we need in Roger Snook. <laughs> Elmo. <laughs> Sorry, Elmo just loves to rhyme. Okay, I, I do too. Oh, but, Elmo, but now Elmo's ready to read Charge Ahead. Okay, let's get to it. All right. Do it. <laughs> Charge Ahead by Claire Meeker. Yesterday, the Chargers read to us at school. They told us playing football was a dream come true. You can reach your dreams, they said, with good habits from the start. If you read, eat well, exercise, and think smart. Today, I'm ready to become a Charger, to be fit, read more, and work much harder. I've made up my mind to follow my dream and be a part of a winning team. I wake up early and jump out of bed, touch my toes and stretch my arms overhead. Reaching high for the ball like a wide receiver would, I'm limbering fast like the Sam Oz did. <laughs> <laughs> I get a good breakfast to think smart in class. The back of the cereal box reads, get energy fast. I brush my teeth, grab my books, and go to tackle the day like defensive end, Luis Castillo. I tell Ella my dream on the way to school. She thinks being a Charger is very cool. Ella's good at sports and she loves football. She's a national quarterback, quick and tall. Boy, that was cool. I would love to read Mr. Steve and Mr. Kissam read. Thanks, Elmo. But now it's time for Elmo to go. Where are you going, Elmo? Well, Elmo has a meeting, a meeting with the Bears. What? <laughs> Mama, I thought you wanted to be a charger. Oh, but not the Chicago Bears, but the Polar Bears. Huh? Yeah, Elmo's going to the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Kasim. Bye, Mr. Steve. Okay, bye, Elmo. Bye, everybody. I'm going to you. Bye. 
So that was pretty cool reading with Elmo, wasn't it? I hope all you kids out here are learning to read as well. That was cool. But you know one thing? We didn't get a chance to finish reading Charge Ahead. Hey, let's call up our buddy and teammate, Luis Castillo. Hi, everyone. I'm Luis Castillo. We're all so excited to be here and help you guys celebrate the importance of reading and staying healthy. Two of my favorite things to do, like Kasim and like Gregory. And uh, you know what? That's a big reason why we are where we are today, because those things were very, very important to us. That's right. Read to succeed. We're so all excited to be in, in this book, aren't we? I know I am. <laughs> so, we didn't get a chance to finish it, so why don't we go ahead and uh, finish the book? What do you guys think? So let's do a start. Charge Ahead by Claire Hodgson Meeker. <laughs> Yesterday the Chargers read to us at school. They told us playing football was a dream come true. You can reach your dreams, they said, with good habits from the start. If you read, eat well, exercise, and think smart. Today I'm ready to become a Charger, to be fit, read more, and work much harder. I've made up my mind to follow my dream and be a part of my winning team. I wake up early and jump out of bed, touch my toes and stretch my arms overhead. Reaching high through the ball like a wide receiver would, I'm limber and fast, like the cinema is good. I eat a good breakfast and think smart in class. The back of the cereal box reads, get energy fast. I brush my teeth, grab my books, and go. It's tackle the day like a defense, defensive end, Louis Castillo. I tell Ella my dream on the way to school. She thinks being a Charger is very cool. Ella's good at sports and she loves football. She's a natural quarterback, quick and tall. There's a new boy in class whose name is Jose. We line up for a spelling bee, he's too shy to play. I see him alone at lunch eating his food, and I ask myself, what would a Charger do? Be a leader is what safety Steve Gregory would say. So Ella and I sit and eat with Jose. Do you like football, we both ask? Jose smiles and nods his head. Yes. We grab the ball at recess and play snap, pass, and carry. Jose blocks fearlessly like Jeremy Clary. Some third graders are watching and challenging us to a game. Let's meet at the school, I say. The charges are our name. Reading class is next. The teacher lets us share. Choose a book you like, she says, and practice reading in pairs. Jose and I sit and read a book together. We take turns, sounding out the words and helping each other. In the afternoon announcements, the principal tells us why. When something is hard to do, you should give it one more try. Think of safety trade battles first, he says, to get the job done. No battle too small or too big for you to overcome. When the final bell rings at the end of the day, I join Ella on the field and warm up with Jose. To get our muscles moving, we jump up in the air and do high knees and butt kicks like defensive end Josh Caesar. The third graders win the coin toss and choose to kick the ball. I catch it, but I can't break through. They're like a solid wall. The next play Ella throws to me, but someone strips the ball away. Girls can't play football, the third graders say. Oh really, says Ella, you better think again, because women can be chargers as well as men. Then she whispers in my ear, remember your dream. A charger never gives up because we are a team. We gather in a huddle, I call the next play. I snap the ball to Ella, she slips it to Jose. Jose hugs the ball and runs across the goal line. We charge and score a touchdown for the very first time. The third graders are bigger, but we're a better team. With our practicing together, we're a well-oiled machine. We put our hands together, our faces aglow, and Jose leads our cheer. Go Chargers, go. The last thing we do before we go away is shake hands with the third graders for the good game they play. I head home to do my homework, have dinner in a tree, then it's off to bed for every charge needs a good night's sleep. The end. Well, before we head off and get ready for practice and our film study to get ready for this week's big game, we want to make a special thank you to Sunset Elementary School for all the kids who did the drawing team. Thank you all, all of you, thank you for your help, all of your effort. Another round of applause. So thank you everybody, and remember, remember any time is learning time. Time for us to go read our playbooks, but we can help all of